And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Overwhelm to start the day off today. We got a donation deck to smash. We're going to be attacking and attacking for a lot of damage. So we're going to be playing uh, Noxus base. Lots of Noxus stuff including Bacillus Grider, you know, these Overwhelms, Iron Ballista, um, Cat of the Arm giving Overwhelm, Darius with Overwhelm. We're going to be supporting them with a little a light Demacia Splash because we got Lucian with the quick attack and a Senna with a quick attack where both Lucian and Senna, if they level up, Senna's not technically a level up, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, we get the double attack and if we can have double attack plus Overwhelm from Might or Cato the Arm, you can attack for a ton of damage. So that's kind of what our deck's all about. Double attack, Overwhelm. And then just a bunch of other Overwhelm stuff. So we are Lucian Overwhelm. Um, we even have like Elixir of Wrath that can uh, get in some more damage. Elixir of Wrath could be like a nice combat trick for our quick attack with Lucian and Senna. Like one mana, give it plus three if they have like a, a larger blocker. Or of course, if we're doing the Overwhelm stuff, uh, you know, like if we have a, a leveled up Lucian um, that's a, that has double attack and we attack with, and we support it with Cato. And now it's a seven power double attack. So it's attacking for 14 and it has overwhelm. And then, you know, you can just like the, the elixir of wrath can just be busted with that. Um, so yeah, it looks like a pretty fun deck to play. To play. This should be pretty fast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a, a lethal deck here. That's for sure. Um, we're not really interacting with the opponent too much. So if we get behind, uh, it's going to be tough for us to come back. But we're hopefully not going to get behind with uh, all of this pressure that we have access to. Yeah, that's a good good thing. Yeah, I hope... Me too. So I hope we get a, at least one... Uh, this is what Cordyx said in, in chat. I hope we get at least one double attack overwhelm. And I sure hope so too. Because I've, def I've definitely tried the double attack overwhelm decks before. And it's never... I've never been able to pull it off. And this version is all in with it though three might three cato it should be easier to pull it off uh, let's get rid of a might and a darius i'll keep the rider and that looks pretty good yeah so right now there's a bug where you can see the opponent's deck's name. So I guess their deck name is Lucian. Uh, their deck name is Noxus Aggro. It's a bug right now that you can see the pe people's Push deck's names. I was that's that's somebody in the Discord said that and I couldn't believe it, but I wanted I wanted to see it. But yeah you can see you can click on it and you see the deck name. No, it is a bug. Um, that same person said that Riot Riot did announce that it was a bug and that they are working on uh, fixing it. Yeah, it's unintended. All right, well, I'm liking, I'm liking how this is looking. We got Senna and Lucian in play. So we can block with Senna and have Lucian get um, double attack. Or we can do it the other way around. We can block with Lucian and have Senna get double attack. And then we have double might. So, like, they're, they're definitely dead if... They're definitely dead as long as... They don't have removal, right? Like they could, they could have um, like Noxian fervor and have removal, and then they wouldn't be dead. Stand down. For example, we're gonna need more coffins. We're gonna need more coffins. No one's the wise. And I went, I went this route of playing these two instead of playing Bacillus Rider, because now I'll have six mana, so I have the mana for double might. My turn. Mm. 
It's risky to go for it. Like, I could play Might and they die. But if I do play Might, then they use... If they, if they do have Noxion Fervor... Huh. Hmm. So they just go for it? Hmm. Alright, fine. Just if I if they have an auction fervor, we could lose this. But I guess I mean we're forced them to have like one single card. If they don't have that card, they lose. Because this is this is 14. We're attacking for 14 and it's overwhelmed. So it, it does. Uh, does overwhelm over. Man, they had it. Darn. Yeah, I was thinking about doing it on the Disciple first. The thing is, is, is it doesn't really... Like, going on the Disciple first doesn't really force them into doing anything. Let me show you what I can do. Ride for Noxus! It's worth a block. Come here, darling. Sure about that? That'll, that'll do 10. So now it's on them. Hey, what's up, Delon? Yeah, the <laughs> our attacking potential is incredible. This looks a lot smoother. That looks pretty smooth. The new screen for quest rewards. That looks pretty smooth. What's up, high tech? So I could just, you know, Name my deck something else so my opponent doesn't know it's Lucian Overwhelm. Maybe I'm supposed to do that. Current deck. It's probably not good to just have my opponent know that that's my plan is Overwhelm. Obviously they know about Lucian. Yeah, that that did look pretty clean for the quest. I agree. I agree. They're playing Tormento. Yeah, the the one five balance changes the the solitary monk change is one that I've been just saying for a, a while now, a few weeks of that 
it should happen. Like, that just makes a lot more sense as a... Um, like, it just makes a lot of sense. It should be um, a 3-3, not a 4-3 when you look at the... Um, this, the uh, size of the other elusives. I'm sorry. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about that block. Um, so yeah, so that should be a 3-3. Three, three. That's, that's exactly what that should be. Um, the Pilfer Goods change makes me just a tad bit sad because I play so much Pilfer Goods, but I think that's perfectly fine when you look at just the other similarly, uh, other similar cards. Paying three mana for a draw two makes sense. Um, even though you do have to draw from the opponent's deck. It still makes sense to have that V3 mana. Well, we've taken six more damage with them having the attack token right away. Mm. Don't get in my way. Guess it's better to trade with Lucian. Because we are one card ahead of them, but I'd rather be nine damage ahead than one card ahead. And our, uh, actually, like these mites aren't exactly what we need right now. Let's get a good look at you. Okay. So I could. Okay, never mind. We're just dead. The battle is lost, but the war rages on. I was gonna be saying that I could, um, like if we need to, I could noxion fervor and kill my crimson disciple to do three damage to them to put them under ten to to level up the Darius. Two mana card? No. Two drop. Lucian, Crimson Disciple. Really want those cards on turn two. Lucian, Crimson Disciple. Right. Looks like we get you. We'll lower the health of this 1-4 so our overwhelm threats do more damage. don't love iron ballista against dead bloom wanderer that's not a that's not great i mean i'm definitely blocking and letting them gain two life while they're at 20 So I attack with the writer first. So if they want to block with the life steal, they gain the life first. Strike at their foundations. 
then Clear it out. they're likely gonna put the life steal with the two two. Okay, no, they're gonna do the life steal over there, so they can use withering whale. Okay, yes, their their plans withering whale. Definitely hurts that life steal is pretty good. Oh wow, that is not good. That is not good. I could, I could play the Noxian Fervor to do 3 damage to them, but they were at 18, and so we would deal 3, they would gain 3, they'd go back to 18, so it would effectively only deal 2 damage, so you know, I could have dealt 2 damage to them with that thing, and that's it's probably a more valuable card than um, playing it to deal 2 damage. Why only 2 cards? This isn't supposed to be a balance patch. This is just this is just a regular this is just a, a you know like the regular this isn't supposed to be a card balance pack but I I thought there was gonna be zero cards but they just decided that um, instead of waiting till the end of the month for the like the balance patches are the last week of the month but instead of waiting until the end of the month they just decided to give the go ahead on those two cards right now um, but yeah this is. There's so basically there's a patch every two weeks, and a lot of them are just for like bug fixes and and implementing new things and stuff like that. And card balances are the this every other one once a month. Empires are built upon action. Move. Yeah, I think I think we'll go Darius's decimate to level up Darius, but leveling up Darius isn't. Like we'll we'll have to stun you know we'll have to do the decisive maneuver like they'll block with Nautilus we'll stun Nautilus during combat like we'll have to do that yeah and so they 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 did tell us that like Heimerdinger will be nerfed that's what they said in the patch was or in the in the article was that their plan is for Heimerdinger to be nerfed. Uh, or at least it's going to be changed. They didn't say nerf. That wasn't their word. They just said there's going to be changes with the bots. But that's going to happen in 1-6 during the normal balance patch. That'll happen at the end of the month. Or like in two weeks. They don't have the mana. Uh, they don't have the mana for um, Vengeance, but they could have Riptide. That's the card they need. They need Riptide, you know, like Nautilus's champion spell. I'm really glad that we drew this Might, or like that we have this Might. We can put the Might on the Crimson Disciple for Overwhelm. Rankler with the tier three sub. Y'all get lots of hype in for the realist Rankler. Happy July. All right, so right now this is gonna put them down to three. All right, so that's pretty easy. We'll just do the, let's do this. Now I'll put them to negative three. Saturday in the park. I think it was the fourth day. I don't know. Thought that song was a happy July. Like. We have done well. Not All right, two and one. <laughs> he did come in at a good time. 
I was doing some overwhelm smashing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Pilfer goods being three CMC, maybe that helps out some Heimerdinger. I mean, I do have, I do have like the Heimer Fate deck. I've only played that Heimer, the Heimer Fate deck one time ever. We went five zero. Maybe Pilfer goods being three mana. Maybe that, maybe that's a buff to that deck. Who knows? Guess we'll have to try it. <laughs> yeah, you get the foiled out hype boat on tier three. Tier two, you get the foiled out cheers emote. Swain Twisted Fate Control. We'll do the same mulliganing I would do even if I did another deckless name. Um, this attacks for more, and it's not likely that they're going to be killing it on a turn one. A Swain Twisted Fate Control deck. We could have Parlay. Uh, actually, Parlay is not a card name. They could have Parlay. But they did not have part. Oh, I can't wait. My turn. Let's see what you can do. Look what you did. All right, so they they want to make it rain. That's what they're doing over there. Um. Let me show you what I can do. So I'm hoping the make it rain hits this. Man, I would love to have one more mana and be able to have transfusion available to respond. Cool. Take your two. Oh, this hurts. Let's get a good look at you. Damn it. Two mana pill for goods. Cheater. <laughs> we don't get to play our cool spells since we're just attacking oh, too much. Sentinels of light, don't fear the dark. You're at 9.9 thousand ties right now. Delish. Gotta get that little extra bit. Just a little bit more. I love a taste of the action. Come here, darling. In the park. Let's see what you can do. Alright, so that'll put them down to zero. So they gotta do something else. GG's. That was a good hand that we had. We had two Crimson Disciples. That card is good. I could definitely see that card changing. Patch 1-1-6. One, one, it said that something's gonna happen with direct damage for cheap Noxus units. Direct Nexus damage. So, you know, talking about Crimson Disciple, Legion Grenadier, Imperial Demolitionist. I assume something's going to change there. I could see Crimson Disciple doing one damage instead of two. Maybe they make it a 2-2 two -two instead of a 2-3. I don't know. I could definitely see something happening with that card. And it's kind of it's kind of sad. It wasn't like that card was too good, but then they just make like Basilisk Rider and Darius like way better. And then they're like, all right, we'll make Harrowing cost one less. And now suddenly they're going to take it out on the Crimson Disciple. Poor little Crimson Disciple. I I want that to stay the same because I like it. I like my Vladimir Crimson decks. Shouldn't have to pay. Vladimir Crimson decks shouldn't have to pay for the sins of Basilisk Rider and Darius. I 
think I just mulligan all. Yeah, I think we just mulligan all of these. Big Alfredo getting that donation deck. All right, what kind of donation deck you got in there, Big Alfredo? What kind of deck is that? I'll write it down. deck right now. About to do this deck in a little bit. I did this deck yesterday. There's a chill in here. I love a taste of the action. O3 dot what lad. High fate. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready here. Fate. Coolio. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. You're just adorable all the time. So that attack there, if their plan was block and use pump, you know, use pump spell to make this thing bigger, so they could they wanted to kill Lucian, then we would have the Senna be double attack. Definitely want to attack with Lucian first before Senna. No, that means we have a Lucian or a Senna on top. Stay back, not so fast. That's sad. Yep. And that's why I didn't block the Crimson Curator. Didn't want them to be able to do that and keep that thing alive. Um, it's probably better for me to play things pre-combat. Turn 5, they can play Vlad. Oh, Vladdy. Hmm. Maybe not. Vladdy. GG. So basically the 5-2 is going to die to the 3-3, three, three, and so we're going to get another attack step, and we just, we were going to kill the Vladimir, and so we're going to get attack again, and so we're going to attack with Lucian again, and they had, they would have had to block their Crimson Disciple. So you know, we would have taken out everything they had. And they were like, that's it for me. Alright. Yeah, Imperial Demolitionist could be one damage. Okay, ooh, Silent Eric says it could be changed to one damage to an ally and one damage to the enemy Nexus. If it kills the ally, then it deals one more damage. That could be good. That that is a whole lot of text, but that's a that's a cool that's a cool ability. I don't know if they'll have it because of like the extra text or they'll just have it just be one damage, but that's cool. I like that. Alright, so yeah, this is a this is a good deck. I mean these knocks and things hit really hard. <laughs> we had the one turn where we had the absolute best decisive maneuver. Like we showed why why you played decisive maneuver with Darius. Um with the one uh the one turn of like attacking with Darius into uh, uh Nautilus. 
and able to stun it. Um, we did not pull. We still did not pull off the might double attack. Game one, we had the chance. It would have been lethal, but they had the removal spell. We tried, but they had the removal spell. It's tough pulling off the double attack might combo, but if you ever get it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, with the deck, I I do kind of feel like I feel like we could maybe have one more. Like the the most important thing when you're mulliganing in this deck is Crimson Disciple and Lucian. Those like you know when you have those cards on you know when you have one of those cards on turn two, your life's pretty good. Just when you don't have one of those cards on turn two, that's kind of rough. We could maybe see just playing two Cato the Arm instead of three, and then playing an extra two drop. You know maybe a, a you know either Demolitionist, either get the third Demolitionist in there, maybe play Grenadier. Um, you know one of those two maybe but it worked out pretty well i mean that's still that's still you know six two drops that you're just mulliganing hard for uh so you're, you're likely going to see one of them um all right so that's lucian overwhelm which we can change back to the name of the deck definitely uh definitely a good deck and if you like attacking if you like the the noxus stuff attacking give it a try we only lost a mirror match in that harrowing uh, won a different, won another mirror match, lost a mirror match, and then won our other three matches. All right. Anyway, that's it for Lucian Overwhelm. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.